Today, some real stuff is gonna happen. What do you mean by real stuff? Real coding stuff. Hmm. It's actually gonna be better and more. Better? More. Than before? Oh yeah. Did you stop the song? More, um, effective. More Whoa, okay. Efficient and overall just cleaner. Yeah. So. Yeah, really went after my emotions there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to put on some better music. Get up. <laughs> Go to the kitchen. Hey. <laughs> so one of my videos is getting a lot of attention, but close to 2,000 views. And then that the top video suggesting this video is a geo hot video. Is it possible that you're gonna support me and I'm gonna work so hard that one day we're gonna meet with geo hot and we're gonna record a video together? Yeah. Before any of that, <sighs> we need to figure this shit out. Turning this into some sort of a computer that I can run things on so that we can learn modern computer stack and how it works hands on and we can create a course out of it. I can't imagine if this didn't exist, how it'd be possible for me to get the answer to this question. So I found a piece of code that uh, is kind of doing you art stuff, but every time they have an if, they also have an else. To me, coming from a regular programmer skills set, this makes no sense. Like, you don't need to write else's if you're not changing the value, but in very lot, they would write an else and not change it, like set, set it to the current value that it has. It turns out, if you don't write that else, the synthesizer will imagine that this is a latch. And if you do write the else, it'll use a flip-flop for that, which is more abundant on an FPGA. So I kind of wrote a UART module, but there is no way to debug it. There's no way to test it other than just, just put it on here and see what happens. I just need to use Morty as a rubber dock and explain my code to it. And just by that, we'll see if my code uh, has any bugs that will come up. Okay, I think we're ready for the initial test. I'm having so much trouble because when I connect my FPGA board, uh, somehow the connection is overridden by another entity on my computer. And when I say entity, I don't mean ghost or something like that. Okay, I've got a bunch of LEDs on the positive. Here, there we go, it's working. I was worried a little bit about uh, the FPGA being misplaced on these, but okay. Oh my God, no matter what I send, no matter what I do, no matter what I connect where, it just doesn't change anything on there and I'm so tired, I just, I'm mad, Morty. Ah. I've literally been spending hours debugging this, okay? Do you wanna know what the problem was? Do you, do you wanna know what the problem was? This fucking thing, look, I named it UartTX here. And what the fuck did I name it here? RX or TX pin. There's no error, there's no nothing. But the thing just doesn't work because of that. So pissed off right now. Okay, I fixed it. So now, for debugging purposes, I'm gonna turn off all these LEDs here. Work. So if we touch the ground wire to it, it works. Jesus fucking Christ. Look. Any fucking document you see online, it says white is for receive, 
green is for transmit. But on this fucking cable that I got from Amazon, what is the transmit? So now as a test of transmission, if I press any key on the keyboard, that last light is gonna flash a little bit. So let's see if that happens. It's working. Yes, yeah. Okay, Morty, man, I give up. I couldn't make it work. I couldn't actually receive a byte of data on it and it's already one fucking 40. So I think I'll call it a day, but tomorrow, you and me, tomorrow, I'll fuck you up tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow.